Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Mole Man and this is Lies of P. So today I figured I'd hop back on after completing the game for the first time. And I want to test for myself how big the changes are. Because it seems to be a big point of controversy where the developers have decided to make some core changes to the game. And people are saying that it's for the better, some are saying it's for the worse. Uh, that's what I want to do today. I want to see for myself just how big these changes are. And I also want an excuse to get back into playing Lies of Peace. So. <laughs> so I've got the points off screen. Um, the actual changes. And I'm just going to use that to guide me through. And uh, yeah, we'll try and figure it out from there. So the first thing I noticed when I came back. I had a look at my equipment load. And... Can I equip my stuff? Okay. I noticed that even though I got this carrier's amulet which increases your weight limit, my weight limit is drastically lower. So apparently they made a change that increases your carrying capacity by an extra percentage, I don't know how much exactly, per point you stack into it. So I know it used to give at the start about three extra carrying capacity so i don't know exactly what it gives now but it's definitely more because my weight is lower and i am not fat rolling with all the stuff i've equipped another great change is that <laughs> they gave support for ps4 controllers and i can actually use my ps4 controller which is wonderful because i hated that xbox one it would just walk forward on its own but i need to get used to pressing the touchpad instead of start to open my menu but a good change nonetheless so let me just read some quick balance changes to you guys so one change they made is that they decreased the hp of certain field monsters they increased the chance of breaking some monster stance and the frequency of the stagger right and they also increased the staggerable window time so what i've done is i've opted to um remove all my p organ upgrades that way we can like gauge how long these parry windows or the the staggerable windows are because it's now bigger but how much bigger i don't know i know they were quite short to begin with but um let's see for ourselves actually i'm gonna attempt to do it on this guy but i have a feeling he's gonna kick my ass because he always does also they said decrease the hp of certain field monsters i don't know which monsters that is they don't specify but i'm hoping for um i don't know if you remember those annoying small half-bodied puppets they had so much hp like more hp than a regular enemy and i hope it's that oh okay so now you should stay like that for longer right I usually spec into the, the tree that gives me a longer time for for me to hit him with the critical right now. But that's long, dude. That is so much longer. Oh shit. Here we go again. Yeah. Oh, I can't not put that scene in. <laughs> All right, I do have enough ergo to do an upgrade. So what I want to see is capacity. Okay, it's going from 1595 to 163. Meaning it's instead of 3 points, it's 3.5 points in the weight. So I get 3.5 extra carrying capacity. I mean, I guess like once you invest a lot of points like I have into capacity, it makes quite a huge difference. That's good. Okay, so moving to the adjusted rewards for the monsters. They've increased the drop rate of moonstone items or your upgrade materials. They've decreased the rate of star fragments. That's the item you use for summoning specters to help you in boss fights. And I guess... I don't think I was ever starved for um, upgrade materials. Actually, to be honest, I bought a lot of it, so maybe it's a good thing. But as for stock fragments, I can't really speak to that as I didn't use specters at all in my first run. What the hell is going on here, guys? 
One at a time now. I didn't get a chance to properly use this weapon and it feels so good. Doggo! Doggo! No doggo! They've also seemed to increase the drop rate of ergo items. So I guess you'd be getting more souls in a fa at a faster rate, right? And they've increased the ergo rewards of certain monsters after Lorenzi Arcade. I guess because after the point of Lorenzi Arcade you level up slower at a slower rate, I guess. Another big change they've made is they've decreased the HP of some of the biggest bosses in the game. Namely, Fallen Archbishop Andreas, King of Puppets, the first phase, um, Simon Ma Manus, Arm of God, and they've decreased the damage of Simon Manus, Awakened God, which is his second phase, I think. And they've also increased the chance to break the stance of Simon Manus, Awakened God. I don't know how I feel about those, honestly. So, Fallen Archbishop Andreas. Uh, that guy, I don't think was that big of a problem. I'm not sure if it's his first phase or his second phase. If anything, I think they both had the same amount of HP. Uh, first and second phase, I'm not sure. But I don't think it needed to be nerfed, in my opinion. As for the King of Puppets, the first phase, I didn't feel that it, he had too much HP. I figured once you get that boss down to his um, parries, once you get the parries down on him, he's quite a fast boss battle. Especially like if you're using a status effect on him, you can get him down quite fast. Um, but the, the hardest part about that boss was the Romeo fight, obviously. There was a point where I was getting him down in nearly a, a minute at a time. Like I could take care of the first phase really fast. But then the second phase would just give me so much hassle. But honestly, there were times where I felt like I just needed to get rid of that first phase just so I can learn the second phase of Romeo again. So if that's going to be faster, I guess that's a good change. As for the Simon Manus um, first phase, it decreases HP. I guess that's also for the sake of time, you know, because all you want to do is get done with, whoops, all you want to do is get done with the first phase. Just so you can practice the second phase again. So I guess also a change for the better. As for the decrease in damage output from the second phase of Simon. I'm not sure I agree with that. I mean he is the big boss right? He's supposed to be a pain in the ass. I do kind of agree with the increased chance to break him. Um, they, they also made that change but I, I'm not so sure about... He's, he's supposed to hit like a truck. He is the big boss. You're supposed to struggle on him. I'm not so sure I, I fully agree with that change to Simon. I would love to have used a Spectre for this fight. But unfortunately you only get to use a Spectre. Ah! In the next boss fight. Oh no, he's gonna kill me. Damn. <laughs> I mean, after all that practice, I'm still terrible at this boss fight. Come on, baby, just die! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another quality of life change they made is that your amulets, the boss amulets, I don't know if you remember, they were super heavy. Yeah, look at that. These two are boss amulets, and I remember these being, this was like 12, and this was like t probably 11 or something. And now it's 6 weight and that's 5 weight. So they basically halved the carrying the weight of those amulets. I guess it'll give you more options with your bold. Because people would usually write them off because they were like the weight of an actual weapon. So people weren't really using it. But they, they do alter the game in pretty huge ways. Okay, another big change they made to this game is that the butterflies. I don't know if you remember the butterflies. They lower the health on these things. So now they're much easier to take down. Okay, that only took three swipes. But I don't know if you remember, towards the end of the game... Shut up, Gemini. Towards the end of the game, they... They would put them in such... Like, annoying spots that were like, almost always traps. And they had so much health that... I just gave up on trying to get these butterflies at some point. I just let them be. Some of which were like stronger than some of the mini bosses in the game they had more health 
And that's no joke, they lit they had more health than some of the mini bosses in the game. So I'm glad they made that change, because hunting these butterflies was such a pain in the ass towards the end game. Okay, so the final thing I wanted to discuss was the Spectre's HP and damage. I have 99 of these things. <laughs> so what they done was they buffed the damage they put out and as well as their HP. So they last longer and they're more useful in the boss fights. I can't really speak to this as I haven't used it in the in the in the main game. Or have I used it? I have seen someone else use it. And what I did notice was that from when the demo came out to the full release, it looked like they were buffed. Um from there already and now it looks like they buffed even further with this latest patch so let's see how it goes spectre where are you help me my friend two one wow that is way too early Oh, this Spectre is like going to town on this guy. I'm just gonna deal the damage from the back here. Help me, don't mind. Ow. And break. Hold on, dude. I'm trying to do some damage. He's just going to town in the back there, isn't he? This Spectre is a nuisance, dude. Okay, I'm on my own now. But he put up quite a fight. I remember... Oops. I remember in the demo that the Spectre was just useless, like utterly useless. He would just die before we even got to the second phase. Don't die! Here we go. That is too early. Okay, the Spectre is alive this time. Let's try and keep him alive. Stay alive, Spectre boy! I think he's gonna die here though. Just swipe him! Oh my god. Just die. <laughs> so... Clearly, the Spectre survives quite long. So I'll say a good change though if you use Spectres. As for my thoughts on this patch as a whole, there are some really good changes in there. Like for example, the quality of life change with the butterfly, having less health and maybe even the boss fights having less health in the first phase. I also appreciate the fact that you can now alter your build at the gold coin tree. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but you can do that now. You don't have to go to the, whoops, you don't have to go to that area in the grand exhibition anymore. I also like the fact that they changed the carrying capacity um, mechanics now that you can get more carrying capacity for fewer points and also the weight limit on the, I mean the weight of the boss amulets are now lowered as well, which is really nice. So you can make more interesting bolts. Oh, that is so dope. This game, to me, sounded like it was designed to be hard. It seems to me like it was a choice from the developers themselves to make it as hard as they did. And I'm not sure I agree with them having to change the game and make it easier for the masses. It's just that we can't so quickly decide that the game is too hard. And now we have to change it and make it easier. Just because most of the people that play it won't get through it. It's like, I don't know if you remember the controversy when Sekiro came out. People wanted that game to be easier. There was discussions about the game having or, or needing an easy mode for people. And the developers, thank God, they stuck to their guns. And they didn't give in by making an easy mode or anything. Instead, people have learned... To just accept the difficulty for what it is, that is, the that is the way the game was envisioned by the developers. 
and we learned to just power through it if you really wanted to and it makes overall for a more satisfying and rewarding payoff i think in my in my opinion on the other hand i do kind of also agree with them making these changes that they did it allows for more people to get further in the game and also complete the game and i think i would prefer that so that people could actually see the ending for themselves and actually get past certain roadblocks um and just having more people finish the game is just better in my opinion i just want to give a shout out to iron pineapple if you haven't come across that channel and you enjoy these souls like games i highly recommend checking this guy out he knows he knows what he's talking about and i believe i, I share the same sentiments with him when he says that lies of p is a game of its own we keep thinking of it or comparing it to bloodborne and we're calling it the sequel to bloodborne but we need to actually meet lies of p where they are instead of having to change the mechanics to better suit it to be more like a bloodborne game i just think we need to stop comparing difficulty levels and mechanics to bloodborne yes we can make those connections but ultimately it needs to be its own game ah i just want to say one last thing before you go ahead and call me an elitist asshole for wanting the game to be harder i didn't finish sekiro <laughs> the game got a bit too hard for me i got to the end of the game uh to the last boss i didn't beat him well granted i didn't spend that much time on the end i moved on to another game i don't know what it was but i just didn't beat him the game was super hard even still i would love to go back and just try to beat that boss again i feel like i need to just scratch it off my list so let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing a sekiro gameplay i'll cut it and edit the way i've done this game and i'll be happy to oblige with the sekiro playthrough <laughs> otherwise that's gonna be it for me i want to thank you for letting me ramble and give you my thoughts on this game that's how i feel about it i still love it this is probably my game of the year so far and i know i've said that a lot but i truly mean it this time <laughs> i want to thank you for watching leave a like if you like it dislike if you didn't let me know in the comments your thoughts on this patch and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye